Okay, I like the other one better, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my adjustment layers, my previous one better, and I'm going to actually up the brightness here a little bit more. Brightness a little bit. And I'm going to also change my middle gray slider to make it a little bit brighter here. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Put like that over. Okay, I like that better. Back to layers. So what I did was to go back into my adjustment layers, you just double click right here on the um, symbols for the adjustment layers and you, it'll bring back up the dialog box so that you can change your adjustments on those adjustment layers. Right? Okay. So I click right here and I was able to go back into levels and adjust my histogram. Okay, now we're going to deal with some of the problems that are showing up here on the image. In particular, this shoulder right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the zoom tool and I'm going to zoom in on this shoulder. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I will get my lasso tool here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lasso this shoulder here. Okay. We'll just lasso this. All right. And now I have a selection right here. I need to go back to my layers and make sure I've got the right layer selected. You can see here I've got the levels layer selected. I need to make sure I have the background layer selected. So I select that layer. And now it's going to be pretty easy. I'm just going to do an edit, copy, edit, paste. And now I've pasted onto a new layer. If I turn off the eyeball in the backgrounds here, you'll see that I've just copied the shoulder and pasted the shoulder and now it's floating right above. You see that? So I'll turn that back on. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to flip it. So I'll do an edit, transform, flip horizontal and that flips it horizontally. Now I can turn the eyeball on on the background layer and I can just with my selection tool drag this over and drag it over to here. Okay and then I'm going to rotate it, edit, transform, let's do free transform, edit free transform and I'll just rotate it slightly, okay, that looks pretty good, that looks good and if I'm happy with it I just press enter and that applies the transformation. Now what I need to do is kind of feather the edge so that it blends in better. So what I'll do is get my eraser. I need to get a nice uh, feathery soft brush. Okay. And I'm going to start erasing so that it blends in. Now I've erased too much here, so I'll control Z to undo. And I'll try to just slightly erase, which will feather the edge and get the image to blend in a little better. So I'm blending the image in. All right, that looks pretty darn good. So now, I can even get rid of this piece right here. Oops, look at that. Control Z to edit undo. I don't want all that just there. Eh, it separates them and makes, it's, you would never know that it's actually a duplicate of the left shoulder pasted onto the right shoulder. And if I zoom out, um, control minus on your keyboard, you'll see that from far away the shoulder has been replaced. It just copied this shoulder, flipped it, moved it, rotated it, and put it over here. So that's a big fix right there. In the next one, we're going to um, fix some of this grass and stuff like that.